This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. What's up guys, Leon here. Welcome back to Tesla on Mare. A few weeks ago, I was sitting with my bro at the university. We had lunch. <laughs> then I have this idea. I want to build a drone with no battery on board. A drone which is powered by wireless electricity. This would be absolutely amazing, guys. I surely thought that no one else on this earth have ever tried before. But unfortunately, I later found out that some other geniuses had the idea before me. But that doesn't matter. The concept is simple, more about that in a moment. This is one of only a few videos of a wireless drone on YouTube. A 13.56 MHz transmitter was used for power transmission. Unfortunately, this is not so easy to realize. I'm sure we can make it easier. Maybe with a ZVS driver? Guys, in my last video I explained you how wireless energy transmission works. Now we can apply the knowledge we have learned in this project. As I have already announced, the plan is to fly a drone with no battery. For this, we definitely need wireless power transmission. The principle behind it is called resonant inductive coupling. We need a transmitter to send the energy. The drone, on the other hand, needs to be equipped with a receiver to receive the required energy. It is absolutely important that both resonant circuits are tuned to each other. They need the same resonant frequency. In order for us to use the transmitted energy, our receiver on the drone must still have a rectifier as well as a voltage regulation. The electronics on the drone can be operated with a maximum voltage of 3.7 volts. This is a voltage that is normally supplied by the drone's LiPo battery. To start experimenting, we need a drone, of course. Preferably a small one. I decided to buy this one. The price is acceptable. It has to be, because the drone will not survive this video. After I ordered the drone, it flew in after a day. That's when I realized the first problem. The flight of the drone is anything but stable. It will be difficult to keep it hovering over the coil, but I'm sure we will find a way. First, we need to modify the drone. Right now it weighs about 24.57 grams. I think we can remove some stuff to reduce the weight, because the receiver won't be that light. The small LiPo battery sits inside this case. We can definitely use the storage space efficiently. Such a small LiPo battery has a capacity of around about 180mAh and weighs about 5.76 grams. Now, before we disassemble the drone, we need to know what kind of power it needs during the flight. At a voltage of 3.7 volts, a current of 2.85 amps flows at full motor power. This results a power of about 10.5 watts. That's quite a little. Let's start with the modification. First, we remove the case. Great, 1.48 grams less. This is what the drone looks like from inside. A PCB with everything on it. Oh, and while we're talking about PCBs, JLC PCB is the sponsor of today's video. JLC PCB is a PCB manufacturer which allows you to make your own PCBs. For only $2 you already get 5 PCBs. If that is not a good price, you can even go one step further. If you use the PCB assembly service, you don't even have to assemble the boards. Believe me, especially with SMD components you save a lot of trouble. The only thing you have to do is save your Gerber file as a zip file. Once this is done, select the desired parameters. Lead free? <laughs> yeah, definitely. What color are you in favor of? <laughs> Purple is sexy, isn't it? Just upload the file, order and you're done. Within 24 hours your PCB will be produced. And a few days later they will arrive. If you register at JLC PCB via the link in the video description, you will get 4 coupons with a total value of $27. Guys, be ready. Soon we will continue with the Tesla gun and sexy purple. <laughs> Back to our drone. We don't need the LED. This is where the battery connector is located. There we can connect the output of the receiver. Red is plus and white is minus. Now we come to the voltage regulation, which I already mentioned at the beginning. This is a so-called buck converter. 
It generates a constant output voltage from a variable input voltage, which we can adjust with a potentiometer. In our case the voltage of the battery, so approximately 3.7 volts. The output of the buck converter is connected to the battery connector of the drone. For safety reasons I made some heat shrink tubing around the buck. Finally we stow the buck converter where the battery was installed. The long cable here is connected to the input of the converter. Parallel to the input of the buck comes a small electrolytic capacitor. This serves to smooth the DC voltage. Of course the rectifier must not be missing. I decided to use a half-wave rectifier. It is very important to use ultra-fast diodes, which can handle at least 3 amps. The UF5408 are perfect. Around the drone case I wound this coil with 4 turns. The coil is connected to the diodes. Last but not least, only the oscillating circuit capacitor is missing. It is important that this has a higher voltage strength than 50 volts. Optimal for this would be Wima FKP1 capacitors. And of course, we cannot use just any capacitor. The capacitance must be chosen in a way that the receiver resonant circuit has the same resonant frequency as the transmitter resonant circuit. I tried to find the value experimentally, but it's quite hard. In our case, one microfarad seems to work very well. The transmitter setup is identical to the last video. Just a simple ZVS circuit, which in our case works on about 56 kilohertz. Now let's move on to the first test. And go! <laughs> yes it works! Let's test another resonant circuit capacitor. Hmm, that was not really better now. When the drone reaches a certain height, the transmitted energy is not enough to generate enough thrust. Hmm, I think we need to limit the height. To do this, I simply attach the drone to the base plate at each corner with a thin wire. Okay, I think this already looks really good. Even if the flight is not very stable yet, guys, it flies with wireless power. Now I want to try another coil combination. For this I cut this frame. On this frame we can wind a so-called spiderweb coil. I also make a new coil for the drone. The frame is 3D printed. <laughs> I think this looks really good. It reminds me a bit of a UFO landing pad. Bad news guys. During the first test, when the camera didn't film, the drone gave a small smoke signal. Now the drone is broken. The induced voltage in the receiver was a bit too high and killed the electronics. But that will not stop us, no problem. I have now simply removed the control electronics. Now we can run all motors in parallel. Because the motors are not broken yet. <laughs> Maybe later. The new buck converter generates a 3.7 volt supply voltage again. The drone now weights about 49 grams. Shit, that's heavy. The motors are already spinning, now we turn up the power. Since the drone is completely maneuverless due to the lack of control, we fix the drone again. Great, it flies. But the whole thing is still not completely optimal. <laughs> I would like to betray the efficiency. So guys, that was already very good for the beginning. We can fly a drone with the simplest stuff, with a ZVS driver, with no battery, with wireless power. That's absolutely amazing guys. The concept works, but I think we need some modifications. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, leave me a comment down below guys, and then we will see us in the next video. Yeah, now the bro drone is broke. <laughs> the drone is broke, guys. <laughs> uh, 
the induced voltage was a bit too high and they killed the electronics. <laughs> the drone was broken.